In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter a destination or start a route. There are a lot of ways to do it, but they all start from the where to. As you can see, you can choose it based on a lot of different categories. Um, we're going to start with the, the most common one, which is just entering an address into the search bar. So I'm going to click the search bar. If you are entering the address, I'm going to enter my childhood address. You just write the whole address, 5103 Woodland Drive, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 70816 and search and it's going to find that for me 166 miles away I could select it I can either look at two different routes and select which one I would like or I could enter the address going through the address icon. If I don't want to use the search bar, I could do the address and it will walk me through it. 5103 Woodland Drive. Now, it's not pulling up Louisiana because up here in the top corner, it's showing me the area it's searching. It's searching Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida for 5103 Woodland Drive. If you can't find yours on the list because it's in the wrong state, you can always click that icon, enter the city or state. I'm just gonna put Louisiana. And now when it searches for 5103 Woodland Drive, I get the one that's actually in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So those are two ways that you can search it. You can basically go in and just hit the search bar and write the entire address, city, state, zip, everything. No commas needed, but just put the entire address that you have, or you can go through the address and actually ask for what is the street name? What is the, uh, you know, numbers, whatever. Um, so those are the two ways if you just want to enter an address. Another way to add a location or start a route is to go to one of the preloaded categories that's in the GPS. Probably one of the more common is campgrounds. Now, my campgrounds are showing me what's near me in Mobile. So if you choose campgrounds, that's what's gonna show naturally is what's around you. In order to change the location for where you want to find a campground, you have to hit that blue icon again and tell it, do you want it in where you are now, a different city or so forth. Let's say I'm gonna go a different city and I want to see the campgrounds in Tampa. It's gonna ask me which Tampa, Tampa, Florida. That's what I wanna see campgrounds in. So now I'm looking at campgrounds in Tampa. I can scroll through it, choose the one I want. They're numbered according to where they are on the map. Uh, and then of course you just select, I can either look at both routes, I can look at the parking around them, I can read a little bit of information about the campground. It's gonna tell me how far it would take me to get there, I can call the campground and so forth. Um, or I can just hit go. Now I already have a route in there because I chose to go to a Woodland Drive. Happy Days RV Park on W. Kennedy Boulevard in Tampa, Florida. Please drive to highlighted route. That X does not cancel my route. I have to go into the three dots, stop the route. If you can't find a campground, in the database, you can always enter the address through the search bar like we did in an earlier video. Uh, you would just go into the search bar, put the entire address of the campground that they gave you, uh, and enter city, state, everything, zip code, and it will show up as well. So there's two ways you could find it. So let's go back now. So where to? Let's go back to the where to. We've looked at the address. We've looked at campgrounds. 
Um, we've looked at the search bar. There are a lot of other choices you have here, and these are all categories to search, and they work the same as the campgrounds. For example, there's specific KOA. There's um, national parks. There's TripAdvisor type locations. There are categories here that have all the rest areas and everything else you would want in a GPS. Um, if I wanted, say, a rest area, it's giving me the rest areas around me. Well, let's say I'm driving. I don't want the rest areas just around me. I want it upcoming on my route. You would choose rest areas like I did, go back to the location device and choose my active route. You can do this before you take off on your trip and kind of just gauge where you're gonna be stopping, um, what rest areas are on your route, um, or you can be doing it while you're driving. There is a quicker way to do it if you're actually driving, but if you're planning your trip and you just wanna see what is on your route, how many rest areas, how far apart are they? This is a way to see how far, 42 miles ahead, 43 miles ahead, and so forth, on that short little trip I took to Mississippi from Alabama. But if you're actually on your map and you're driving, you can find rest areas and other things along your route really quickly by hitting the icon on the right hand side that shows upcoming uh, services, I guess, on your along your road. So I can see I have an Exxon, I have a Welcome Center in 43 miles, and so forth. I have some RV parks in 10 miles. So the up ahead is really nice. You can also select a destination using voice navigation while on the map screen to activate voice navigation. You have to say a particular phrase. Once you say that phrase, it's going to respond and then you clearly let the GPS know what you're looking for. Okay, Garmin. Find me a campground in Tampa, Florida. Which result? Near Tampa, Florida, would you like? Number two. Going to Lazy Days Campground on County Road 579 in Sefner, Florida. Please drive to highlighted route. So you can see that just by using that wake up phrase, which if I say it now, it will wake it up again, but uh, that phrase will activate a small box at the bottom that lets you know it's listening to you and you can clearly say very simply what it is you're looking for. You can also tell it to turn volume up or turn volume down or increase brightness. If you're not sure what you're looking for, you can ask for locations around you. Okay, Garmin, find me a Cracker Barrel. Which result would you like? Four. Add as next stop. Go into Cracker Barrel Old Country Store on 13 in Saraland, Alabama. Okay, Garmin. Stop route. Okay, route canceled. So you can see that the voice navigation is very easy to use. It's very responsive. Uh, you just have to learn how, I guess, how you have to ask it. Keep it simple. Um, very straight to the point. You can give it an entire address and it route you there if you speak the address correctly and completely. Okay, Garmin, find a gas station. Which result would you like? Four. Going to Circle K on Tanner Williams Road in Mobile, Alabama. Okay, Garmin. When will I arrive? You should arrive at 2 p.m. Okay, Garmin. Stop route. Okay, route canceled. You can change your wake up phrase. It is automatically set as okay, Garmin. Exit. You can also enter a destination by selecting it on the map. So instead of going to the where to icon, you would go to the view map icon. You wanna get your screen to where you can see where it is that you're trying to select and just scroll to wherever, that just my orientation changes. 
uh, I'm in the middle of nowhere right now, but let's say I want to go right here. You hold the screen and touch it, and it's going to give you the address of what you touched, and I could hit go. Please drive to highlighted route. So that's another way you could choose a location by just selecting a location on the map, touching the map, holding it down, and when you release it, it'll give you the address of where you touched and the option to navigate there. Again, to stop a navigation, three dots, stop. There may be times that the only thing you know about a location are the coordinates. There are times at RV rallies, they give you the coordinates to the gate that you need to enter. Maybe you're boondocking and there is a particular spot you like that is specific coordinates uh, and that's all you have as a location. You can enter a location based on the coordinates and that's on your options in the uh, map section. You can enter the coordinates and view where those locations are on your map. Um, and then save that location if you'd like. And because it's coordinates, it's going to ask you to name that coordinate. So it could be entrance gate to the FMCA rally or uh, boondocking spot in Albuquerque or wherever you may be. So that's a neat way to save locations when all you may have are the coordinates or that the exact location of a gate or an entrance is really important for your routing. So that is another way to enter a location into the GPS.